Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a video for you guys and I figured I would do something kind of fun. Um, I have a lot of pets and I thought it would be cool to do like a look kind of inspired by some of my pets. And the first one I did was my handsome man Pierre. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen pictures that I've posted selfies with him all the time. He is a little kitty cat. He is, to be honest, I'm not sure. I've been told Ragdoll. I've been told Himalayan, but he's beautiful. He's right here. He's so, he looks so not happy, but trust me, he's purring. He, I love him. He loves me. See? <laughs> But this is my handsome man, and he showed up on my doorstep the day before Thanksgiving last year. And I'm not quite sure where he came from. I do live in front of like a wooded area, and a lot of people dump their animals back there, as, sound, as sad as that sounds. So it's not uncommon for stray cats to be in my neighborhood. But he ran right up onto my doorstep, halfway into my house, and was so loving and purring and I really thought he was someone's pet, so I put stuff on Facebook, and I put stuff, you know, flyers, and for weeks, nobody claimed him. Took him to the vet, realized that he had feline asthma, which is a real thing. Felines can get asthma. Um, so I'm thinking somebody got him to breed him, because he's so handsome, and realized he had a breathing problem and didn't want to take care of it, so they threw him away. So then he showed up at my house. And I kept him. My fiance and I adopted him. His name is Pierre. My fiance thought he needed, you know, a fancy name because he's a fancy looking cat. So we named him Pierre because it's fancy. So anyway, I decided I would film this video today based off of him and his cream colors and his chocolate colored face and his big old bright blue eyes. Look at them. Look at them. He looks so happy. I swear to God, he's purring. So. Um, I just wanted to apologize that it's been so long since I did upload a video. I have been so, so busy with school. I didn't, like, I knew it was going to take up most of my time, and I didn't realize how exhausting it was going to be as well. And the last few days, I've been really, really sick. So I'm really sorry. I promise I'm going to try as hard as I can to get a video out every week, if not every two weeks. But I'm definitely going to be trying to post on Instagram if I can't post on YouTube. But... I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this video, not enjoyed, you haven't watched it yet. And if you do like it, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. And let's just jump right into it. So I'm starting off by priming my eyelids and I decided to switch it up and use an Urban Decay primer this time. And I'm going to be using mostly shadows from the Naked 2 palette. But before I start, I'm just going to set my crease to brow bone area with a skin toned shadow. And then I'm just buffing Flower Child from the Tartlet and Bloom into my crease. So now I'm taking that um, Naked 2 palette. And I'm taking a defined crease brush, as you can see right there. This is from It Cosmetics. I'm using the color Busted. I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. So like most of my videos, I'm always going to say you just apply this color until you get the payoff that you like. It's just a lot of back and forth. I know you guys have heard me say that millions of times before, but I'm literally just going back in with a little more color and blending it out and so on and so forth until I like the way it looks. And of course, blending out any harsh lines. So now I'm going to kind of cut the crease and I'm using a concealer and I'm just going over my lid and then I'm kind of going up into my crease, not too far. So I have something that looks like that and now I'm taking the color Booty Call, which is one of my favorite colors from the Naked 2 palette and I am placing that all over my lid and then I'm using a makeup wipe to clean up the edges. So now I'm going to take this really defined crease brush and I'm going to, well it's actually, it's a detailer brush, it's not a crease brush. And I'm going right in my crease with that busted color. And I did kind of mix it with the blackout, but I didn't put a lot of blackout in there because I wanted it to be more of like a 
browny color, although this kind of came out more of like an ash grayish color, which I'm fine with. But that was literally the eyes. It did not take that long. It was fairly easy. So now I'm starting on the face and I'm taking my favorite primer, which is the new Rimmel primer and obviously came out a little faster than I thought. And I'm just buffing that into my skin. And I also forgot to mention that I just did winged liner and lashes off camera. Um, I know that's kind of obvious, but I always like to say what I do so you guys know exactly what's going on. <laughs> and then I'm taking, of course, my Smashbox Primer Water and spraying that all over my face because I can't live without it. So I did decide to go in and kind of color correct. I did have some dark circles. So I'm just taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Concealer to kind of color correct. And then I'm going to be buffing that in with one of the brushes from my makeup brush set. I really love this brush set. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but I do. And then whenever I like color correct, I always set it very lightly with a powder just because I don't want it to slide all over the place when I start putting like concealer and foundation on. So I set it very, very lightly with powder. I don't put a lot of powder on because then it's going to cake up underneath your concealer and your foundation. So for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, I think is what it's called. Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. And I find that it's best for me personally to buff this in with a damp sponge. But I really like the coverage on this foundation. It is full coverage, I feel, at least medium to full coverage. And I like the matte finish. So now I'm taking my current favorite concealer. And this is the Tarte Creases Concealer. And I, it's very thick, but I like it for some reason. And I just like that it's full coverage. I'm just going in with my sponge, the same damp sponge that I use for my foundation. And I am just pressing that into my skin. So now I'm going to bake and I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I saw that Jaclyn Hill put her bake, like baking powder, baking powder, like she baked and she put it on with a damp sponge but it just it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It just cakes up and feels really dry and I don't like it. So I just go in with a dry sponge and kind of just apply the translucent powder wherever I want to bake. So now onto skin and I'm using the bronzer book by Too Faced and I'm using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I keep forgetting how much I really love this bronzer. I wish I had it in like a full size pan because it is just so pretty and it looks so nice on my skin. So I'm just using that to bronze up my face a little bit and the best part is, is that it smells like chocolate so what else could be better? So now it's a contour. I'm using the, it's, I think it's called like the medium chocolate Soleil. It's just, it's like the, it's not the dark chocolate, but it's not the milk chocolate. Maybe it's just called chocolate Soleil. That might be it. I don't know why I look it up. I should probably look it up. But anyway, I'm using the middle um, chocolate Soleil bronzer to just contour. And then I'm going in with this Color Mates blush. I got this blush for $1 at Big Lots and I love it. I think it's pretty like similar to Luminoso by Milani, which isn't expensive at all. I mean, Luminoso, Milani is a pretty affordable brand, but this was a dollar and I love it so much. It's called Tawny Peach. Don't really know why it's called Tawny Peach, but that's what it's called and it's really, really pretty. And now I'm just setting the rest of my face with my MAC Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. I decided to do like my bronzing first before I set my entire face. Because usually when I bronze, I go back over it anyway with powder to kind of 
make it less intense. So I decided to switch it up instead of setting my face first and then bronzing. So now I'm going in with my highlighter and my champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca broke. And I'm so sad. I've been so careful with it. Like I'm setting it on a place on my desk where it cannot move or fall or anything because I'm so sad it's going to shatter into pieces. So now I'm going to start with the under eye and I am using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Baby Blue and to be honest I got this pencil like years and years ago. I don't even remember it was on sale so I don't even know if NYX makes it anymore. But I really thought that this color really like mimics Pierre's eyes because he has such beautiful baby blue bright blue eyes. So I'm putting this on my lower lash line and then I'm taking Pegasus by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to buff that out underneath. With Pegasus, I thought these two colors went really, really nicely together. And for lips, I just went with a nude, and this is So Select by MAC. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I thought it would be kind of fun to do something inspired by my pets. So if you like this, please subscribe and like down below, and I'll see you guys next time.